Let's take a look at the main radar settings of your Lorance HDS Generation 2. We have the HDS 10 in front of us. So if you hit menu once, it brings up a sub menu for this page only. Hit menu twice, it takes us to our settings menu. Select radar, and then inside radar, first option is grayed out, but when it's not grayed out, it's target expansion, and you could select that. We have target trails, we could turn them on or off. When we turn them on, it leaves a trail behind our readings, and that's that white there. That way we can see the path of a moving object. It also clutters up the screen a bit, so you may not want it on all the time. We have our palette. That's the colors that it draws in, so we could select one of these other ones. We have orientation, it's grayed out right now. Then we have our threshold. You could turn that right up or right down. North indicator's grayed out, but we can enable that also. Range rings, I say always leave range rings on. These are the rings there. If you take them off, it disappears and it's harder to read how far an object is from you. So leave that on. And then we could do range markers, which just tells you what each one of these lines are. So that's 200 feet out, 300 feet out, and so on. We have compass. We could turn that on or off, and that's going to control these degrees and such that you see there. Bearing. It's grayed out right now, but when it's not grayed out, we could adjust that. MARPA, which stands for Mini Auto Radar Plotting Aid. We have some settings in here. We have the history length, right now it's set to three minutes. We have the safe rings here, just let you know whether the object's safe or not. And then last installation, and then we have our installation settings here, where we can tune it, reset it, adjust our range offset and more. So that was a quick introduction to the main radar menu in your Lorance HDS Generation 2. We're looking at the HDS 10 today.